Contrary to popular belief, the Bible does teach that non-believers will have a future opportunity to be perfected here on earth. 1 Corinthians 15.22 is one of many scriptural examples. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be made alive. The equation is simple. Adam brought sin and death to everyone. Jesus took away what Adam brought. Justice is satisfied. Jesus returns things to their original state of equilibrium. In a recent podcast, we observed that this likely provokes many questions. How does canceling Adam's sin work practically speaking? Is this an invitation to heaven? What about the day of judgment? While not a heavenly invitation for non-believers, it is an invitation to perfect human life like Adam had. It's an invitation and an opportunity because every human being will have a say in the matter. The thousand year day of judgment provides a time of testing so every resurrected person can earn life by learning and adopting God's righteousness. Look around our world today and this seems ridiculous, impossible. Click the link in the description to our recent podcast episode, What is the Biblical Process to Become Perfect? Part 2. We dig into scripture and discover just how God has this massive and complex process of perfecting humankind clearly planned. These scriptures show us a depth to God's foresight that often goes unnoticed. Don't miss this unfolding of God's perfecting process for all. Thanks for watching another CQ Moments That Matter. Click below to subscribe and get updates on new videos.